hello babes and welcome to a new video here on my channel where I'm going to once again experiment with my hair and maybe ruin it. As you guys know that is something that I do <laughs> a lot of the time and therefore I am in desperate need of good hair care. Therefore I am so excited that this video is in collaboration with Function of Beauty. Function of Beauty is a hair care brand. They have the most amazing shampoo and conditioner and hair mask. It is so good because you get to customize your own products to your needs. You actually get to do this quiz online on their website. What kind of hair you have, what kind of hair goals you have, and the fragrances, and what kind of color you want, and stuff like that. So I personally said that I have straight, fine, and dry hair. My hair goals are to deep condition, hydrate, nourish roots, soothe scalp, and strengthen. <laughs> that is the five things that I need in a hair care and I am so excited to say that this does it all. It also smells so good. So whatever kind of hair you have, you get to customize your own products and it's just so good and the products itself are just so pretty. I, as I said, chose the pink, you can choose the green, you can choose the yellow. If you would like to try these out, I have a link down below where you can get 20% off on their products. As you guys know, 2020 is the year where my hair is going to grow and I am really working on it. I'm really trying here using good hair care products and uh, taking care of it. With that said, let's go ahead and do some really bad stuff to our hair. I am back but a few days after I filmed the intro because I saw in the instructions that you should not wash your hair for like six days. <laughs> so it's been many days and my hair is looking kinda ew. I have a lot of natural oils going on right now, um, mostly in my bang area. And that is where this shit show is going to happen. <laughs> this is probably the first time <laughs> I've ever done a hair video here on YouTube where I'm actually a bit nervous because I have no idea how to work these sorts of things. Um, it's very unfamiliar for me. And uh, a lot of you guys, or not a lot of you guys, all of you guys have told me not to do this, except for one of you guys. <laughs> I got a comment on my Instagram saying that they, this person, I think it's a girl, uses this on her bang area to get rid of her cowlick. I have a huge cowlick. <laughs> And uh, if you don't know what that is, your hair grows a certain way. Here I have a very large cowlick and my hair just won't stay down. The hair grows upwards so I can't lay this flat down. It's pretty much impossible. And also the cowlick is all the way here and to like the middle part. Like look at this. I know some of you guys will be like, just hair dry your hair, hair dry? <laughs> dry your hair and just like brush it down. But no, it does not work. This is not something that I can style. I can obviously style it to look good, but it's still so much work. And if I could fix it, I will. And this might fix it. <laughs> but it also may burn my skull. In the instruction, it says, when you should not relax your hair, if hair has been bleached. <laughs> Although I have actually intentionally done this now and not when I had bleached hair because now my root area is not bleached. It is my own hair untouched. And I'm just going to put this on that part. Contact with scalp or any skin areas can cause serious skin irritations or burns. No, but seriously, I have actually looked into um, people on YouTube relaxing their hair and really tried to inform myself so my hair won't fall off. <sighs> but I am nervous and I should be. So we have a lot of steps in here. So this is step one and you should apply this on the hair that you do not want relaxed. <sighs> I'm like really nervous about this. 
This is obviously not a tutorial. You do not care about these steps. So I'm just gonna get this done. So that I want to relax like this part also doesn't really need it because this can go either way. Okay, like that, I think. Let's take the first step. So I'm gonna put this on the head around. Oh, no, no, no. And I'm also going to put on the long hair. I saw on YouTube someone that was relaxing her whole head and she used coconut oil on the entire head. She said that she didn't want it to be completely straight. So she used coconut all over because it doesn't make it as straight. And as I don't need it to be straight, I just want it to be relaxed down. I'm gonna go in with coconut oil. And this I'm gonna put all over. So we have the conditioning relaxer cream number two that we're gonna add with the activator number three. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks like strawberry <laughs> yogurt. <laughs> I am gonna put on a timer so I know how long I've had this on because I really, really do not want this to be on my head for too long. We're gonna start by applying this mixture on only at my scalp and it says not to put it on your scalp but I kind of need to and then I'm gonna go in to the shower and use the neutralizing shampoo this apparently is the only shampoo that you can use uh, so you can't you just go in with your normal shampoo wish me luck because this could be the worst thing that I do to my hair started okay let's do this I'm gonna take a tiny part like this. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, this doesn't even want to go down. I should put on some plastic, my follower said that she does. <laughs> it has been only five minutes, so I think I will wait at least until it's like maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes. <sighs> it's starting to get a little bit warm. I have no idea if this is going to do anything, but if it does, this is going to help me so, so much. And I'm sure that it's going to help a lot of others. You know what? While we are waiting, I can show you guys this one. I think that a lot of you guys will be happy with me. I got a grooming scissor because as you guys know, I always go ahead and use my Anastasia scissors. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But I, now I have a real scissor. Ooh. Oh, look how pretty. I'm gonna have that for my hair cutting videos now. And I actually have a hair cutting video that I think I'm gonna do soon. Welcome to my sink. Um, it has started to get really warm. Uh, and it's been like 10 minutes now, so I'm going to wash it off and uh, I'm gonna wash it off here in the sink so you guys can see And then for the neutralizing shampoo All right, and I'm gonna do it one more time just to get rid of everything. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. 
there we go and now i have the conditioner in and then i'm gonna go ahead and put in the uh, leave-in conditioner and also the like moisturizer oil kind of thing and yeah i am back and uh, this is how it's looking now it is obviously wet so i'm just gonna let it sit like this and let it air dry there we go the hair is actually dry even though it is looking really wet because it is a lot of oils and uh, leave-in conditioner in here but now as i showed you guys i got a new scissor or actually my first hair scissor ever i thought that we could go ahead and just cut my hair a little bit or not my hair but my bangs Ooh, satisfying It is a few days after and I have washed my hair with the shampoo and conditioner from Function of Beauty and I've let it air dry completely and this is the final result. And I am so excited, thank you so much that told me that you do this because I have never loved my bangs this much. All of you guys that have a cowlick and you hate it, this works. I am so excited to have flat hair when having bangs at least. You want it to stay flat on your head and not go like this. Bangs went like whoop. Also, it looks like I have a dent in it um, because I've had a hair band on. Okay, so here you guys can see the hair closest to my scalp. I can now put however I want. Before, it went straight up like this. And it does, as I said, feel a little bit more coarse. And also I can feel it when I touch it like this, that I can feel that the roots are going that way, but then I've forced it to go that way. So it feels like a little bump almost, but you cannot see it. Uh, and it still feels quite healthy, to be honest. I think that having the coconut oil also made a huge, huge difference. I do think that next time I'm doing this, when my hair has obviously grown out, I need to redo it because it's obviously just in a root area now. I think I'm just gonna keep it on for like seven minutes. Now I had it on for like maybe 12, but I do think that five minutes could work for me and my hair type. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a like and please subscribe if you do want to check out when I dye my hair soon so you don't miss out on what kind of hair color I do. I'm going to do something completely new and a hair method or hair dyeing technique that I've never done before and I'm really, really excited about it. Thank you Function of Beauty for collaborating with me in this video. Go check them out. I will have them linked down below with a coupon code. Have a great day and I hope that we will see each other in the next video. Bye.